okay so today we're taking a look at number of provinces the question are there are n cities some of them are connected while some are not uh, if a city a is connected directly to city b and city b is connected directly to city c then city a is connected indirectly with city c a province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other cities outside of this group you're giving an n by n matrix is connected where is connected of i and j is equal to one if and only if the i -th city and the j -th city are directly connected and is connected of i and j is zero otherwise return the total number of provinces so simple problem we are given an adjacency matrix which looks like this and so the ith and jth element if it's one then that means that those two uh, nodes are connected so here you can see that each of the nodes are obviously connected to itself and then a is connected to b so that's why this element is one a is not connected to d that's why this element is zero this is the visualization of the actual nodes so a b and c are connected uh, you can see that A and B are directly connected and A and C are directly connected but B and C have an indirect connection which is through A and D is not connected to anything so A, B, C becomes one province and D becomes one province so the answer will be 2 so basically how we can do this is using any kind of uh, traversing algorithm like TFS or BFS so if we use DFS, we can just find out which is the first uh, iteration of one, which is this is the first time we can see one, which would be over here. And then we just go into a DFS mode and go to, and traverse to every single element that is uh, traversable from from this element. So from node A, you can go to B and you can go to C. Then again, if from B, you could go to some element E then you would also go to E and what you want to do is at each iteration of the traverse you want to make all these ones into zeros so then A and B will become zero and then A and C will become zero so this will help us not to retraverse the same things again and again because that way we will get stuck in, in the loop and uh, we can also if we don't want to um, you know ruin the input adjacency matrix we can also have a visited array visited matrix which will basically do the same thing so let's code this first we will have the counter max provinces and we will have a 2d or a nested for loop to go through the is connected vector Over here it's an n by n so it doesn't really matter if I do is connected of zero dot size or just is connected of size but just for if if this would have been an n by m matrix then this practice is helpful and now I check is is connected of i and j equals to equal to one if that is the case then I can increment the number of provinces and I can start a DFS traversal for is connected at i and j so we can write that now we're not returning anything so void this is a vector of vector of int and you want to pass this by reference Otherwise, the changes that you are making, the ones that you are converting into zero, won't really affect the other iterations in the stack. So, even though this is DFS, we don't need to check for any boundaries of i and j. In other DFS iterations, you might have seen that over here we're checking if i is greater than zero or something like that. But over here, we don't need to check that so basically what we will do is we will just make the is connected of i and j 
zero over here if you are if you don't want to change is connected you can use a visited array so over here instead of is connected you would be changing the visited array into zero and you want to go through all the other nodes that are present or, or that are connected So over here we'll be checking if is connected of J and K is one, then we will just be uh, recalling this. Okay, this should not be called is connected. It should be called DFS, and we'll just recall this function again. with j and k so it will just recursively make everything that is connected to the first element i and j into zero so the next time when this entire loop or entire nested for loop works it will only find a new province that is not connected is disconnected from the original province that we have found and in the end we can return the number of provinces Okay. Okay. <laughs> is connected. Um. Yeah. Okay. So every single time I am going to record, I will make these errors. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Great.